This is the Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And the Little Wii Viewer. And we're all going to review Animal Crossing City Folk. So what did everyone think of that game? I loved it. I loved it more than him. Like always, I want to have full disclosure in my review of this game. I didn't skip ahead and review all the seasons. I stayed in the season that we're in now. Fall, almost winter. I intend to revisit this review in about six months or so to give you my full impression of the game. This game is a remake of the DS title, which was a remake of a GameCube game, which was a remake of an N64 game. How many times can you remake the same game? Now, Nintendo does have a reputation of reusing items and storylines. The Mario and Zelda games are a perfect example of that. However, they've never been so brazen just to remake the same game over and over again. I guess Animal Crossing is their experiment to see how many times they can get you to buy the same game. Sure, they put a fresh coat of paint on an old house, but it's still an old house. I have to believe that someone at Nintendo was looking at all the ports that have come to the Wii and thought, hey, why don't we port the DS version to the Wii, add a boring city, and charge $50? It's the only explanation I can think of. The basic idea behind Animal Crossing is that you live in a town and what you do in it is completely up to you. There are no real set goals. There are goals that you can achieve, but they're all optional. It's not the type of game you play for hours. It was meant to be played for 30 or 40 minutes at a time. There are usually things going on every day, whether it's a big holiday, fishing tournaments, flea markets, or just celebrating a neighbor's birthday. The game has kept the round world perspective that the DS title started, and I'm glad they did. I never liked the GameCube version of moving from section to section like the original Zelda game. Yeah, this is kind of silly. At the beginning, they ask you what town you're going when you're already driving to that town. And then they ask for the name, and then they say, we're, we're out blank whatever your town is. You drop off at your town, go to town hall, and pick a house, and then go to Tom Nook, and, and he'll tell you what to do. That's the normal tutorial that you can play in the game, which is the same as the DS version and the GameCube version. They didn't change anything. In fact, if I go back to the GameCube version, I bet you it's actually the same exact tutorial. It might even have the same exact words in it. The controls in the game are very simple. All you do is hit the A button. For example, fishing is as simple as casting out the line and waiting for the bobber to go down and pushing the A button to pull back. Of course, they also added motion controls to the tools, and they work perfectly, and I never had them interfere with my gameplay accidentally. Plus, they made it so you could use the D-pad to quickly toggle through your tools, which was a much appreciated addition. Your neighbors will move in and out of your town depending on the relationships you have with them. They have their own quirky personalities. Some can be fun-loving, grumpy, or just downright strange and scary. There is a large list of neighbors that can move into your town, so no gaming experience will ever be the same. As you interact with them, you'll learn about their life and do them favors. As little fun as that sounds, they do start to grow on you, and you will be sad if one of your favorites moves away. As much as the neighbors were fun to have in your town, I wish they could have had their own individual storyline that could play out over the year. In the end, they're only interesting enough to want to have around. It would have been nice if you needed to have them around. So what do you like to do in Animal Crossing, little wee viewer? I like to get furniture and, and get your house bigger to make your house. So you like rearranging furniture in your house, or do you just like getting the furniture? Like, do you follow feng shui, or however you pronounce it? Mm, I call it fen shushi. Yellow goes to y your left of the room, red goes to the right, and green stuff goes right by your door. But that's just a way you can put furniture. They're not saying you have to put it like that. All right, little list wee viewer, what did you like doing in Animal Crossing? I don't have a favorite lit. You just like running around doing nothing, don't you? It's just, that's the fun of the game. You could just do nothing and just run around. The game's always been about collecting items, and there are plenty of them to find and buy. However, a lot of them are just carryovers from the other Animal Crossing games. They have a museum to donate the fishes, bugs, fossils, and paintings you find and buy. And it could get very addicting to try and find and get them all. I can't possibly go over everything you could do in Animal Crossing, since there's literally a year's worth of content in the game, but it is always fun. New in this remake is a city you can go to, which I thought was not only boring, but it also took a lot of fun out of the game. I say that because some of the places and shops in the city are just some of the people that used to visit your town in order to buy their goods. Now you can go there anytime you want, and it kind of takes the thrill out of having them arrive unexpected in your town. In the city, you can buy emoticons from the theater, find some hard to find items in the auction, or even buy some more upscale items in the department store. 
you can get a makeover from the stylist and she can change the way you look from changing your hair to completely changing your character by letting you use your me in place of your character when your character looks like your me there is one major downfall you can't wear anything on your head without making it switch back to your original character there are a couple other things in the city but there's nothing here that'll make you bother to come here daily this game also has the ability to leave your town or let people come into your town. Up to three other players can come into your town at a time. They can buy things, fish, talk to your neighbors, and take fruit. Every month has every special event. April Fool's, April, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's Eve, New Year's, everything. And Mexico have special events instead of us. If we have this, but Mexico doesn't, it's like cultural. So if you can go online and go to those areas, you'll be able to participate in their events. Yeah. So it gives you an incentive to go to other towns and especially other countries. Yeah. This game also supports the We Speak. It's a microphone that's meant to let everyone in the room use it. I'm not going to talk about it much since I'm going to do a review on it after the We Speak channel becomes available. It did have a noticeable two to three second delay, but other than that, it seemed to work well. Here's an example of the way it sounds. When I went to one of my subscribers' towns. Oh, you want to go in my town? Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm just going to leave and invite you guys. Even if you don't have the Wii Speak, you can still hear the other players who do have it. And you can still communicate with them via the virtual keyboard. Or even a USB keyboard if you have one. Animal Crossing City Folk would have been great if Nintendo hadn't phoned it in by not really changing anything from the last remake version they've released. It makes me think they don't have any ideas where the series can go from here. If that's the case, let me help you, Nintendo, with three words. Animal Crossing Online. If you've never played an Animal Crossing game before, then this is an easy recommendation. The game is fantastic for a new player, but for anyone who's ever played the other versions of this game, it's going to rub you the wrong way. All right, little wee viewer, would you buy, rent, or skip? Buy. Littlest wee viewer, what would you do? Buy, rent, or skip? Buy. I'd love to say that you should pass on this game and get the DS version. But I like this version better than the DS version, because I prefer to play the game on a TV instead of a small touchscreen. And for that reason alone, I will reluctantly say buy it now.